If you're under the height of 5'10 and want to become an elite defender, then watch this video till the end and you'll get exactly what you're looking for. The first tip is just to get stronger. And this is something that you can avoid because if you're already pretty short, you already have one disadvantage on the defensive end. So you don't want two. So becoming a stronger defender is, is crucial because at the next level, whether that's varsity basketball, college basketball, or professional basketball, you're going to have to guard, you know, guys who are 6'5", 6'6", 200 pounds, 215 pounds, guys like Anthony Edwards, uh, LeBron, <laughs> he might get switched on to Giannis, you know, obviously I'm exaggerating, but at the same time, you know, I'm serious. These are the type of guys that you want to prepare for when you're in the weight room. You know, this is a must. You have to get stronger. Guys like Fred Van Vliet, um, Javon Carter, Davian Mitchell, yes, they're pretty short when it comes to NBA height, but they are incredibly strong, especially someone like Drew Holiday, who's just 6'2", 6'3". He is incredibly strong. The number one area you want to strengthen is your core. You know, hands down, this is the most important part that you want to strengthen. And, you know, most people would only strengthen your core by doing, you know, sit ups and crunches and stuff like that. Those aren't bad exercises, but those really aren't the things that's going to help you defend bigger players. You want to be able to work on your core stability because when on the court guarding bigger players, the thing you don't want to do is get knocked off balance. So in order to stay on balance and hold your ground, you have to increase your balance, right? So you can see in the background, you know, that's me doing a few core stability exercises. There I have a medicine ball on the left. And what I'm doing is I'm just rotating the ball over my head. And right there is stabilizing my core, right? Especially I'm in a split squats position. So it's really working on my, you know, stability and ability to, you know, hold myself up, right? And on the right, I have a weighted stick right it has i forgot how many pounds it was but what i'm doing is i'm just rotating it over while trying to keep my core stable this is strengthening all the muscles in my core so you can be able to guard those bigger players without getting knocked off balance the second tip to becoming a lockdown defender if you're undersized is becoming more conditioned now this is extremely important you know if you watch somebody like jose alvarado you see he's just flying around out there and to be able to do that you have to be in great condition right the best comparison or analogy i can give y'all is you want to be as conditioned on defense as steph curry is on offense right so you need to be you know just like steph curry is constantly running around you know around screens and stuff like that on offense you need to be doing the same exact thing on defense you have to be a pest in order to be a pest you have to have unlimited amount of stamina right and to train this you want to train your two energy systems your aerobic energy system and your anaerobic energy system your aerobic energy system you can train it by doing low intensity exercises like jogging or jump roping right jump roping and jogging or incredible aerobic exercises right but you also have to add in your anaerobic exercises which are high intensity the best things for you know anaerobic is sprinting i'll say sprinting and combine that with lateral slides i'm telling y'all right now that's going to get you in the best shape of your life right so sprint you know for about 15 20 yards a few times and then go right into defensive slides right put the cones out or water bottles out about 10 feet away from each other and go right from sprints into defensive slides right and do that for like a minute a minute straight just alternating between those two right and then you want to rest for probably about two or three minutes and then you want to go right back at it I'm, I'm telling y'all, doing that along with the low intensity work is going to get your, 
endurance and stamina to a whole nother level and your defense you know intensity you're gonna be able to play defense for you know play intense defense for all four quarters not just one not just two not just three all four quarters and that's what really makes elite defenders is consistency can you do it every single quarter for a long period of time the last tip in this video to becoming a great defender as an undersized player is something I don't think y'all would really like and that's taking charges you know taking charges is something that you must do as a smaller player because as a smaller player you have that advantage you can you know sneak in those little creases like a Kyle Lowry and take those charges when big players are running at you it's gonna be hard for them to stop and avoid you because you can just slide inside last minute right and also taking charges just helps you stand out among scouts at the college level professional level whatever if you're taking charges that lets coaches know that you're willing to sacrifice your body for the better of your team and that right there goes a long way so a few keys to taking charges is first make sure you're outside of that restricted circle obviously you know and just take it on the chin take the, uh, take the contact make sure you tuck your chin and try to you know move your head to the side you know because you don't want to catch them elbows or a head-to-head -head collision so put your head to the side and you know embrace the contact right these are the plays that lets coaches know that you're willing to do anything to win right and like i said as a smaller player you have to do things like this you have to because you already at a disadvantage due to your height so you have to do things that everybody else is afraid to do and that'll be all for today's video these were three very important tips for all of my smaller defenders out there but this won't be my only video like this i will make a part two part three part four and a part five as long as y'all like the video and comment down below that y'all actually want you know a full series of this 